Welcome back everybody. I'm just going to make a video on a 270 King's awning. Now, believe it or not, I got this on special for $359. So it was $379. I bought it through eBay and got another $20 off, uh, you know, their discount codes. So I paid $359 for it, but I did pick it up. So had to take that into consideration, but let's see if this 270 awning is worth 359 bucks. I've got the canopy off at the moment, so that's gonna make life a bit easier. I've lowered it down, and uh, I've taken off my old awning, which, uh, you know, was just a, a pull-out one, had the poles. Good awning, but a bit annoying, you know, they'd hitch in the bloody head and all that sort of thing, so. I've been waiting for one of these to come on special and I saw it so I thought look we'll have a crack at it and uh, we'll unbox this and uh, have a look at everything we've got inside. Now I know there's thousands of these uh, you know reviews on eBay and stuff so what's one more gonna hurt? So that's how it comes in the box. It is uh, pretty heavy. What's it say? 31 kilos. So in this other box you get all the brackets. Now, we'll just see how these work on my canopy. I've got a uh, hunted engineering canopy and it's already got like a built-in roof rack so I don't know if these are going to work. We might need to modify these or change these. We'll just see how we go when we get there. So it looks like they give you three brackets. Pretty strong, I suppose. The thing only weighs, you know, 30 kilos, 31 kilos. Bag. The pegs. Pegs are pretty cool. You know, something different. They're, uh, they've got a square, square sort of taper there and a Different anyway, I haven't seen a, a peg like that, so that's nice. Straps to uh, attach it to the ground when it's raining. Three bits of rubber uh, go behind the brackets. Bag of bolts. Radio. So, no instructions. We'll just have to uh, we'll work it out. Anyway, I've got to get these old brackets off first and uh, sort of sit this up into place and just get my heights right. So I'm just going to put this bit of wood here and just sit it up and just uh, just get a look at it for the moment. See what it looks like. It's got to take into consideration my, my door here too. So yeah, it's just a bit of trial and error. Like that's where it hinges obviously, so I sort of want it back against the canopy. Even though the tray, you know, finishes here, I don't want too much, too much of a gap so the water can get in if it rains, so, which is probably better for the bracket uh, strength wise. So it'll probably need to go, go that way a bit. There's a lot of weight up there. I suppose it's spread out. Found the instructions. They were tucked up up in there, so I guess you got to uh, unzip it to to start working on it, so you'll find them eventually. So that's a uh, bit of luck. Anyway, we'll have a look at those, see what they say. I've got the awning just sitting up there at the moment, uh, just on some bits of wood, just trying to get my spacings right, and I'm about. 13, 12, 13 centimetres from the edge of the, the hinge there, which is okay. Uh, not allowed to go more than 20, they recommend. And here at the front, uh, I've got about 80 centimetres, so that's okay. Max is a metre. 
so I'm happy where it is um, I'm just trying to get it sort of low I guess uh, so I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off the top of the, the bracket but that's okay and uh, I've just got to drill a hole just here because I'm using here and here so I'll cut off uh, about an inch on the top and then uh, that'll keep it down so what I've come up with I welded both of these uh, these brackets together to make one sort of strong bracket only because I really don't have um, three mounting options I'll show you what I mean so my roof rack built in it's just welded around the sides so you know rather than you know muck around fabricating completely changing all this I'm just going to use this corner <coughs> and uh, yeah like I said I welded those two brackets together attach that <coughs> four bolts there should be strong enough um, bit of trial and error sometimes you just have to make the best with what you got and uh, that's what I came up with so I'm not going to bore you with all the welding and stuff like that but uh, I just want to make a quick little video I'll get this installed and then uh, I'll show you the finished product when it's uh, when it's ready to go I'm ready to put my first bracket on and then it's a bit of mucking around but I'll, I'll fasten that and then I'll just double check uh, that I'm happy with where the, the awning's going and then I can get that uh, sort of bolted up you know you got to put a hole in the cover but we'll do this first so I'm happy where that's going to sit there that first one So this rubber strip actually goes underneath uh, the bottom of the, the leg here. So it's supplied. I'm going to use it. I've just finished attaching the brackets. Uh, I've only got two. And like I said, I welded this one together to make sort of one big chunky one. Just, uh, just because the way my roof rack sort of made on this canopy, I'll just get up the ladder and show you. So there you can see I've got a nice big chunky one here and one there. I put the bolts on. <clears throat> I watch the video. They tell you how to do this, and then uh, you just sort of make a hole down here. Come around here because of the light. Here I'm going to use a soldering iron just to just melt a nice little round hole and then uh, take the cover off, remove the nuts, put those, uh, those white, I don't know, silicon uh, washer grommets on and then I'll be able to fasten it up there. Might do this a different way and mark a hole, and then take it off. Right, yeah, so I've done that. You can see four holes. Just need to take these off. Try not to move the bolt as you go. So we get six of these, and they just go over these bolts here on the back. Just to help try and keep some of the, the water out when it rains. Like that. I'll do the other two. 
this one's just a little tighter because I've got this, my hole is where this strap was, which probably isn't a bad thing actually. Help support it a bit. And I made these really tight because I don't want any, any water getting in. Beautiful. Done. So there we go, installed. Is uh, 359 bucks worth it? I guess time will tell. Done. What was that? About 30 seconds? Not too bad. Thanks for watching.